Hello everyone and hope you are doing good. So today's topic is how to automatically log out inactive user using PHP. So I'll be showing you two ways. One is using meta tag in head section and second one is using PHP session and Ajax using time function. So let's get started with the view so i have already created basic login system login will be done with username and password i'm using test table database and customer table for login so let me show you code so first is database connection here after that login page in which input field username and password and after that there is a file for logout the way a session will be destroyed and in log file i am checking the session variable if session is set or not if not then redirect to login page so this log file is included in index on index page we will come after login is successful so let's start with first one using meta tag I am pasting meta tag so it will work like after 60 second after page loaded it will redirect to logout page so where our session is destroyed suppose if you want a user that is not active in 15 minutes then it should be multiplied like 15 into 60 that's going to be 900 so 900 will be passed in place of 60 so let's check this out i'm going to log in with knowledge at the gmail.com and admin password so my index page is open so let's wait for 60 seconds now well i'm just forwarding so let's so after 60 seconds it's automatically log out so first one we are done here so that's the only line we need to include for automatically log out. So let's comment this out and let's start second way using time function. So I need to include JS CDN and I need to include Ajax as well in index file. So now while login, check when our session data is set, set one more variable login user time and pass the current time. So that's we are defining for, you know, storing the current time when user is logged in. So that later we can check with the current time that how much time is user logged in. After that, let's create a function in script, check user time inside that we are going to call ajax that will be url is blank right now after that write method that is post after that is going to be success function response in function after that url is going to be check user time dot php create same file inside that write php so let's print the session variable in this file user login time alert the response in ajax so and also call this function check user time so let me log in again in browser after login it's giving me an error so I missed a session start here. So now time is printed. So let's save that in our variable. User login time. And check if condition if user login time is, is set or not. Inside that another if. And in that current time minus user login time 
So let's also take this into a variable. Uh, let's say difference and print that. Comment if. Now let's go and refresh. Now difference is printed. Remove comment from if. Then in if, check the difference variable is greater than 30. Then print log out and in browser it's printing log out so in ajax check condition if response double equals to log out then window dot location dot href is going to be log out dot php printing log out if i'll refresh it's going to log out so it's logging out after refresh but we should not refresh it should automatically log out after time so let's add set interval for that on check user time so write set interval function and give time that is two seconds and inside that function pass check user time so this will set you know interval on check user time and in every two seconds this function is going to be called so let's go and refresh in browser again login with knowledge so let me just inspect it and check console also there is one error that is set interval is not defined so i guess i okay i needs to be capital set interval now let's go and again refresh now there is no error so it's log out let's log in again now let's check time So you can see after 30 seconds it is automatically log out so first method is using meta tag with time in that second one is using ajax and js that is using set interval as well and in php just check the time with the current time when the, when user is logged in and what is the current time and what's the difference between them and you just check that difference and log out according to that so that's for all in this video i hope this video is helpful to you please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching